We have a super guest on the show, Boom. Mr. Jared Powelka. He's going to teach us how to find capital or how to sell your business. Now, Jared, let's get into you have this four step process. Step number one, you're saying is stick to your role. What does that mean, my friend? Yeah, we love to use acronyms. Show, whether you're raising capital or selling your business, show. Think about show. The first in that is S. Stick to your role. Stick to your role. What does that What does that mean? So, you know, it, it it's more it's simpler than than business owners make it, management teams make it. You gotta you gotta stick to your knitting. If you're on a baseball team, you gotta play your position. So it's a little bit counterintuitive for a lot of guys trying to raise capital and sell their business. You gotta run the business. If you're Ray Charles, you gotta sing this song. Can we get that song? Is that going to go? Is Ray not going to play right now? Z, is it Ray? Oh, the Ray, the Ray oh. Charles button is dead. I can't believe that. I'm gonna, I tell you what, I'm not going to let. I'm not going to stand for this. Z, let me, let me just, Thrivers, you'll bear with me. I I'm have a, the perfect Ray Charles song. Ready. There it is. There it is. I got as always. Man, you always save the day. I got you, Clay. If you're Ray Charles, you got to sing that song. So if you're a business owner listening right now, though, this is what I see, Jared. You tell me if you see this a lot. I see business owners who. They're really good at coaching basketball. They're maybe very good at selling commercial real estate. They're very good at baking cakes. They're very good at cutting hair, whatever. And they get all distracted. They spend all of their time trying to raise money, and then their core business falls apart. Is that what you're talking about? It, it's all too common. So you, you find people that are great at what they do, and that's the problem. They get away from what it is they're good at. And uh, Mark Cuban. Now, Mark Cuban, some of you go, who's Mark Cuban? Um, he's a guy who, oh, by the way, before he became a billionaire, he did become a millionaire. And you go, that's obvious. No, no. He had one business that did very well, and then he had another business that did very well, and he sold that business, and he became a billionaire. Okay, But this is he also owns the Dallas Mavericks, but he says this. Know your core competencies and focus on being great at them. So Thrivers is an action item right now. 